Ari, Jordi Prepper here, and another Prepper in favour, and that is my Three Night Ti3. I really like this torch, I, I use it a lot, and like all Three Night products, it's very well made and constructed. And you can have this very nice clip, and a good way to secure it to something, but the only problem with it is that you've got to crimp it together. So you know, this could potentially come loose. Um, you might not crimp it together right in the first place and then it just doesn't hold it onto the keychain here. I mean, the keychain's pretty decent, but, and it's got this spring-loaded mechanism so you can quickly attach it and detach it from things. But to be honest, I just think um, the keychain could have been done a little bit like the attachment to the actual torch just a little bit better and it would have it would make this absolutely perfect to be honest um the knurlin is really really good and it's got a nice feel to it you could probably tell it was a ti3 from another similarly sized torch just from the just from the knurlin the operation of the torch is really really simple it's basically just a, a twist of the cap so I've got it on right now, just on moonlight. You loosen it and then tighten it up again. And that'll move it to the next mode, which is low. And that's a really nice light if you just want to use it like in a bug in or to be a bit stealthy. It's um, got a really nice low level to it. Uh, essentially what I'm going to do with these torches is I'm going to buy extra ones and just replace the need to use candles. Because obviously with candles they introduce their own risk, like with fire risk. And essentially I just want to put a TI3 in each room. You could put it on moonlight and once your eyes are adjusted to it, it's perfectly enough to, to go around a room safely. But obviously you know you could not crank it up to low. And then you've got high mode, which is really quite bright. In a in a large, quite large room. I mean, this will fully light the room up completely. But obviously, if you're bugging in, you know you want to be a bit discreet about it. And then you just twist it again to get back to moonlight, low, high. And if you keep twisting it, you get into the hidden strobe mode. So very nice torch. The LED is very efficient and I find that the runtime with some very good batteries is really, really nice. And just the overall quality of it. And to put the torch in the in an off state, basically you've got to twist the cap just ever so slightly loose. And again, this is another weak point in the in the design because if you just put this like in a pocket or something and you've got something rubbing up against it, this could just come, you know, completely unloose and and then come off. I mean, I think it would be unlikely, but there is always the possibility there. And the threading, like I said, the build quality is really nice. You've got like really nicely machined throughout and th the threads are really good you've got a, a no ring here to add to the waterproof and the batteries go positive side up and you've got like a, a spring at the bottom there and you can just tell it's it's quality you know it's it's not something that's just been slapped together you know there's been a lot of thought from through through night into into their torches and this is no exception so it's part of my preps you know it's one of my favorites and i really really like it so there is a newer version than this one this is the original one uh obviously if i buy a new ti3 it'll be one of the newer versions so i might do a comparison video if i do actually get one of them so that's it for today guys, just a quick video. Be safe, be prepared, and I'll catch you in the next video. Ari, Jordi Prepper here, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, 
don't forget to comment and subscribe and share the video too if you did. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and some constructive feedback is always welcomed. The Preppers Discord server is always available to talk to myself and other preppers about prepping and other relevant topics. My other social media is on screen now. You can follow me there and I usually just use it to post when new videos are available. Don't forget to be safe and be prepared and also check your preps.